Hey y'all, welcome back to Beauty with Ty. So you guys know I'm back here with another wig review and this time it is inches, honey. Inches for days. This is Sealy hair. It is a frontal and all the way down to 28 inches of straight goodness. This is my first time ever having 28 inches of hair and I am so in love. All right, so this is how the hair came packaged. Very good customer service. Look at all the stuff I got. Flexi rods, eyelashes. I got a beauty blender. I even got a mirror that says Sealy hair on it. A bow as well. And then it also comes with like this little brochure giving you all the little hair specs and how to wash it and care for it on their social media. And look at this frontal. Pre-plugged and everything. However, I did go in and pluck it some more. So that's the 20 inch frontal and these are my bundles. 28, 26, and 24 inches. Very nice sizes. And I had like a little bit of hair left over from the 24 inch and I put my bundles in pretty close together. So this is how my wig is looking after I have assembled it all together and I am trying to get my stomach to act right. So yes, I am wearing my waist trainer, but back to this wig. So this is what the hair is looking like, long and just really, really nice. So I'm taking my little handy dandy hot comb, pressing it all back. I wanted me a real cute middle part. So now I'm just taking my curlers there by Olaxer and I'm going to curl the entire wig just like this. Um, I do have a couple of videos on how I curl the hair. So yeah, you guys go check them out. And bam, look at these curls. Popping ton. Um, I kind of curled it towards more so the ends. But yeah. So here I'm going to take this Amber J. Can't resist wax stick and this is better than my wax stick i've gotten from the hair store it is really really good it's like it's more moisturized but not greasy if that makes sense because my other one kind of gets really greasy but this one's like it has the moisture but it doesn't give off like a greasy effect just a couple swipes and look at this so now as y'all see my lace is kind of not the right color so i just put some makeup on it so it look right so here of course, if you want to keep it like that without any baby hair, you can definitely keep your edges like that. So we're just going to slide this wig back so that I can apply it with one layer of ghost bond. I'll leave a more detailed video link down below, but I'm only doing one layer. I find that it holds a little better when I do one thin layer and it'll hold for about four to five days after that it's time to take it up and redo it again. So I'm just fanning it until I get it clear. And then after you get it clear, that's when you can go ahead and apply it. But right now it's too many white spots. So I'm just going to keep fanning a little bit more. And then I will go ahead and apply it when it's like very few white spots, if not none at all. So I'm just pushing that down, pushing a little bit of the baby hair into it as well to kind of like lay on top of the lace. So it'd be more seamlessly. And this is how it's looking. This is before I you know, make any baby hairs or anything like that. So now I'm just going to pull out a little bit of the edges that was like in the glue that I purposely put down like that and just kind of swiping that over to make more of like some effortless edges like that. I think that's cute, you know. So that's how it was day one. And then, um, yeah, this is what the curls are looking like, really long, everything. And then I went back i took the wig off and then i put it back on like three days later so that's why my edges kind of look different which you guys are ready to see but right now they look pretty good they kind of look like they're kind of gelled down but they wasn't i put it into the glue <laughs> but still cute whatever it's cute so yeah this is what the wig is looking like when i re-put it on like three days later curls still in there as you can tell they have dropped but not too much like they still look good and um yeah that's what my edges are looking like this frontal was the bomb really really easy to work with and all of that didn't have any problems with the frontal so here i'm just going to go ahead and separate the curls that have like kind of reformed on the wig so i'm just separating those curls showing you guys this hair like 
it looks gorgeous step back this is how long it is when I pull it but I'm loving this hair with the curls because when I tried to straighten it it didn't get bone straight so I was like whatever I'm gonna just put some curls into it I mean it got straightened but not bone straight but it's giving me more of like a yakky thicker texture um this hair is I think it's Brazilian that's probably why and as you can see it comes all the way down to my booty cheeks crack area <laughs> But yeah, this is what the hair is looking like. It is flowing, honey. You guys, y'all make sure y'all click the link down below so y'all can go and purchase this hair. They have some very good, affordable hair. And this is, I have this hair on my hair right now. And it's been like, I don't know, like five days ago I did this wig. I'm putting it on, taking it off. These curls still look good. I'm just, I can run my fingers through the hair with ease, even now. Still, five days later, run my fingers through. Everything is good. So, y'all, make sure y'all go check out this company. And y'all, leave me a comment down below. I love you. Please subscribe. And bye.